Oh, what's going on? It's your boy, The Real Ronnie D, and it's The Real Ronnie D POV. Y'all might know me for some of my music, but like I told you before, I'm not a rapper, but I know some. Let's go meet one. Trap Star Hey Dog. Yeah. Now, like I told you, we finna meet my man's Hey Dog, Trap Star Hey Dog. One of my favorite rappers in the city right now. Bro, music is intoxicating. It puts you in a motherfucking trance. It's drill, but I call it zombie drill, right? We go check him out. But before I introduce you to him, I want you to check out this video right here. I'm right back at you. Bands, the nigga had them bands. Ha, bands. Try I need to run up the free bands. Ah, oh, damn. I need to run. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, That's the word. You, man, that's all about you, man. That's the word, man. That's all the boy. How you feeling? Good, man. You got a little minute to talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, dog. Yo. Where you get that name from, bro? Man, I was, man, I got the try style out just doing illegal stuff in the streets, but I got hate off from my brother, Jawan. He had, uh, we was in like third grade, and I, my name is Hayden, so it's like I got a unique name. So we was trying to, kids trying to come up with a nickname, and we just came up with Hey Dog. And he's just been calling me that ever since, so everybody called me that. That shit working for you, man. Trap yeah. stop. I just played your video, man, so the whole world just got to see what that, what that, what that, what I call zombie drill sound like, man. When I listen to it, it put me in the mood. It put me in the zone. What kind of zone would you in when you made the music and how, how do you get where you need to be before you drop your song? I ain't gonna lie, the type of mood I was in, I wanna say I was in like a hype mood, but I was on some chill stuff. Like I didn't really know how I was gonna go with the song. Like I had written like all the lyrics, but I didn't know in terms of like ad libs and my vocals, how was I gonna change it up? But I just got in there with my brother. We just felt the vibe and then I just went off their energy. That, that was all straight energy. Do you gotta, you gotta smoke to get ready. You gotta drink like some candles. What's your? No, process? I ain't, I ain't one of those type of dudes that's gonna really try to put it on the drugs. Like I'm talented all around. I don't, really, I don't need no drugs, none of that. It's just, I was in that vibe and I felt the energy. Like me and my brothers, we go off each other's energy, and I just felt that energy. So, like, like how long you been doing music, bro? I've been doing music all my life. I've been writing rap since the second grade, but I took music seriously the summer of 2018 when I made, I dropped a song with uh, Polo G called Laws of the Land. Okay, okay, I saw that, I saw that. It got a lot of views. I saw the video you did with Polo G. You was making noise. Everything was booming, and then you kind of fell off the map for a minute. Yeah. Explain to the people, you know what I'm saying, what took you so long to come on back, or what, what was going down when you had the, had the fans hanging so long? Well, first off, God is good. You know, everything happens for a reason, yes, but sir. I was fumbling around in the streets, and it's just I wasn't coming home. My OG wasn't really going for none of that, so she ended up um, putting me out when I got into some trouble in the streets. And it wasn't really nothing major as far as like legal trouble, but it was just trouble where I had to get sent away. So I ended up going to a behavior home called Hartgrove. Okay. I was told I was going to be there like four months. I ended up being there two months, and then I got transferred out of state. They was trying to get me to a um, residential in New York, but I ended up declining that one. They ended up sending me to Peoria, and I just, I ended up doing like five more months, and then I just came home last summer. So you had to get yourself to get yourself together. You, you good now? Yeah, I'm straight. I'm ready. I'm, I'm hungry for it. Now you looking different, man. Last time I saw you, man, before I heard this song, you was, you was a little chunkier. You look like a, a young cat now. You looking like a grown ass man. What you been on, man? I ain't been on nothing, man. Just maturing, just trying to stay in the crib, stay put up. There's a lot of stuff going on. I ain't trying to be in the mix, you know. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm glad you mentioned this. A lot of stuff going on, cause we both, we both, you know what I'm saying, dwell on the on the same side of town, on the east side. Yes, sir. Tell these folks about, you know what I'm saying, the area you came from, and you know what it, what it's like over there. Well, I'm from the east side, 80th from Muskegon. You feel me? Everybody know. But it's like with this music, it was hard, cause there's a lot of gangs and stuff going on. It's a lot of distractions that come with it. It's a lot of lies and deceit that you get sold to get you sucked into these streets. But it's just. I just, I learned from that early at a young age and I just made it to C-17 last week. So, you know, I, I took that and I just ran with it, that's all. 17, bro, I swore you was like 22 or something, man. You carry yourself like a grown ass man. Let me chop it up with the people for a minute. For those who don't know about the East Side, the East Side is as far as you can go east of Chicago without going in the lake, right? We got beautiful beaches over there, parks. We got golf courses and all that shit over there, right? It's also the most dangerous place in the whole city. No cap. No cap. If you're from out of town, don't get fooled by the beaches. It's real over there. So when you hear this man music, you know that everything he's saying come from a real place, 
It come from the soul, it come from the bottom. There's also a few other rappers um, that come from that side of town that I know you might know, but I ain't gonna even talk about it. I'm gonna let my man uh, tell you what's going on. Who are some of the people that came up on your side of town on the rap side? On the rap side, Herb, Bibby, Romo, uh, that's don't South Side. Forget, don't forget the old school, Bump J. Bump J, of course. Shout out Bump J, man. If you're watching this, what's up, Bump? Uh, just a lot of, uh, who, who else can I think of? Uh, uh, I ain't gonna lie, some of the guys used to rap on oh, bro, but as far as like mainstream, her, Bibby, Bump, uh, you wanna go to the South Side, you wanna talk Romo, North, Polo, like, there's a lot of talented artists all through the city, and there's a lot of underground artists that don't get that exposure like they need that's going crazy too. And that, that's what this is all about, on the real. That's what this is about. And, we, and I'm from the low end, so I'd I, I be uh, remiss if I didn't mention, and I know some people don't fuck with them because of affiliation and all that, but you got Chief Keith, yep. you got Lil Durk, yep. you got FBG, you got a whole lot of cats, and it's a whole lot of politics that be keeping y'all from clicking. I understand that, yeah. but just let it be known, the city got talent. And with the city having as much talent as it has, why do you think Chicago is not running shit like the South? I just feel like Chicago not running shit because niggas niggas got that mindset like that that street nigga mindset where they want that that credibility cuz that they didn't risk their life in these streets but it's like nigga we trying to get to the bag like like I was just watching Polo interview and he was saying the same thing like the street cred ain't gonna get you nowhere like you gonna die behind the block that don't love you you feel me and it's just it's 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 a lot of violence but I feel like the way I do it, I just use everything I went through and I just try to put it in my rap because can't no nigga sell me no dream to make me go back to what I was doing. Like I see music and that's all I, I'm on. Yeah. You young and you still in the streets though. I know you ain't you ain't on bullshit, but you yeah. still live in the shit, so you gotta be with the shit. For sure. What do you do to stay out of harm's way? What do you do? How do you move? So somebody might need to follow your blueprint. How you moving to stay, you know what I'm saying, above ground? Man, I just try to stay to myself, just surround myself around the team that want to see you win, that want to win for themselves, that got an actual, a actual plan with their life and got actual goals. Because a lot of niggas, they can talk good about what they want to do, but they don't pursue it. And it's just, when it come to me, me and my squad, my team, we all about eating. So it's like, we know to eat, we got to work. And it's just what we doing. I just lay my head low and just focus on us, focus on my family. I dig it. I, I'm glad you mentioned your squad because I want you to talk more about your squad. But I want to get more into the song just a little bit more before we meet the squad. By the way, what's the name of your squad? DMCJB. DMCJB. What does that stand for? Double M's Cartel. And then the JB stands for our um, deceased cousin, Jim Bing. Jim Bing. Yeah. Uh, we got to make sure we shout that out real heavy, Jim Bing. So let me see. In your song, you said something to the effect of um, this chick say she love me. Uh, hold on, man. Matter of fact, you know the lyrics. You know she the lyrics. She love me the truth. What she speaking? What was she speaking? So, uh, if 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 anybody know me, you know I'm a lover boy, but mm -hmm. I ain't no sucker ass nigga. You feel me? It's just I love girls. I love vagina. So it's That's like a ah. lot of females they be they be choosing. It's like they will tell you they love you one minute just because of who you is, but it's like this one particular girl I talk to right now. She say she love me. You know, I'm just I'm going with it. You know. But on the next, in the next line, you said, um, I I'm believe. I'm to the money. Yeah, I, 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 so I'll probably see you on, on the, the weekend. weekend. Yeah. So do you even have time for girls right now? No, I don't. That's that's the reason why I can't be in a relationship now. It's all my girls that be getting mad at me, man. All of them, bro. I don't, be having no, I don't be having no time. Like, I be trying to make time. I can't make enough time for them. It's like, at the end of the day, I got a family to feed. That's what's up. Still on the music. Who making your tracks? Where you recording it? Uh, right now, I'm um, messing with this producer named Mike Wheel. Made um, beats for Gunna, Key, Baby. He made a lot of beats for them. He's a, um, an engineer from down, well, not downtown. He's from Chicago, the city. But, you know, he be downtown and stuff. So I be just traveling back and forth, trying to get these shoes in, trying to get these sessions in, you know. So he did music for Gunna and a whole bunch of the people. Yeah, a whole lot of mainstream artists. It's just by the grace of God, he messing with me and just... Well, ain't, ain't by the, it's by the grace of God, but it's a blessing to him too now, because now he involved with Trap Star Hate On. So we on the road. That's what it is. We on the road 70, to the money. 75% of rap music is consumed by non-black people, people that ain't from the hood. So I know the hood go feel you, they gonna be able to relate to you. What do you think all them white girls and white boys that's gonna be buying your album, that's already checking you out, what you think they gonna get out your music? I feel like they gonna get that, that, that vibe, like, 
like when you talk, when you break down Keith, like his fan base, when you break down Famous Dex fan base, they might have a whole like demographic of white people listening to their music and it's because they feel it. Like they might not have never went through nothing we ever went through, but it's like, you gonna feel that pain in my voice. You gonna hear everything I went through. So it's my mission that you gonna understand and feel everything I'm saying. And if you ain't never been in the streets and you don't know what metaphors I'm using, then it's like interviews like this one that I can explain. But it's like, I'm hoping to bring that energy to bring some authentic to where they know, like this kid been through something, he got a story to tell. No doubt. The way I look at it is that when they listen to your music, mm -hmm. they get a chance to see what it's like to be on survival mode, what it's like to be a good dude who got to be a wolf in order to be a sheep. That's the old slogan old folks say. You yes. got to be a wolf in order to be a sheep. Mm -hmm. So they get to see what it is without having to be that close to the danger. Right. So you taking all the risks, you taking all the chances, and they get to hear it in your music. Yeah. Am, I, am I accurate in that? Yeah, you accurate. And it's no, like a lot, of, a lot of the risks we take, like y'all will never even know about it. We'll never speak about nothing we ever did to incriminate ourselves, but just know everything we ever did was for a reason. And it's all been put in this music right now. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. One more question, then I want to meet the squad, man. All right, bet. It's one of, one, of, one of my brothers gone right now. He, he handling some business. Okay, but no doubt. It's the majority of all of us here. Okay, okay. Well, that, that, the last question I want to ask you before we um, bring the squad out is, with all the stuff that's going on right now, we got pandemics going on, we got political bullshit going on, yeah. ain't nobody able to do shows right now. It's real hectic and real crazy. How do you keep yourself busy? What's your game plan to keep your movement going when the whole world seems like it's stopping? See, and that's, that's the thing, like, when all this started happening, like, it ain't like anything we doing is new. Like, we've been doing the same thing. We've been on the same regimen since I came home. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Why everybody else up, like, why they up 6, 6 p.m. all the way to, what, 1 in the morning, and then everybody going to sleep 2 in the morning. We up. We don't sleep. You know what I'm saying? We sleep. I mean, they sleep. Everybody else sleep. People that's watching us, viewers sleep. Other rappers, they sleep. We up. We write music. We doing something productive. We might be getting high in the meantime trying to find a thought process, but at the end of the day, we trying to get this music done because when it's time to hit the stool, we got to know everything word for word, you know? So what, 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 I know I said it was the last one, but I got I got, I got more for you, man. What's the name of the project, or when is your next project uh, coming out? What's the name of it? Well, I'm working on a project now called um, Overcoming Adver Adversity. Uh, it's gonna be like 12 tracks on up, uh, featuring me and my brothers, JBG Ray and uh, DMC1. Be on the lookout for that. Uh, and I'm trying to, I wanna, I wanna do, I really wanna drop two tapes before the year over with, just to show people like, cause in my, like if, if you go on my notes, it's like over 80 songs I never released yet. From the time me and Polo dropped to right now, like it's over 80 songs that I never released yet, never got a chance to release. So I'm definitely gonna make some tapes out of those and just keep pushing it out, keep pushing my name and my brand. We waiting for it, man. I, I, can't, I know I can't wait. For sure. For shit, we ain't gotta waste no time. Let's see the squad, man. All right, bet, bet, bet. Listen there, when I tell you he humble, he on the humble, he, he, he you know what I'm saying, he mild-mounted, he chill, so he ain't go gas himself up. But when I tell you this young boy is the coldest in the city, I don't even know what the rest of the squad is like, but if they anything like him, they beast, okay? The boy is dope, Trap him, check him out, underscore trap star, underscore hey dog on Instagram, YouTube, check him out. The boy is a beast, he don't even understand how excited I am to even be interviewing him, you feel me? I'm geeked. The real Ronnie D P O V. Squad? Yeah, this 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 three fourths of the squad. Now, run that for the people that didn't get it the first time. What's the name of the squad? DMC J B. And, and we know we know what the J B stand for. Of course, DMC Double M's Cartel. That's what it is. What, is, what we got here? What's up, fellas? I'm DMC One. DMC Twan. DMC One, DMC Twan. Yeah. So everybody in the squad got DMC for the name. Yeah. yeah. Up, Except me, I'm Trap Star Hey Dog. Trap Star Hey Dog. That's what's up. So talk to me. We're gonna start with one, right? Yeah. DMC One. Yeah. How you uh get with the squad when you start rapping? Uh, I started rapping like seven, eighth grade. Like me and Trap Star, we been rapping. It just we never took it serious. Just we started doing that. You feel me? Like we been rapping. We made our first song, Creeping Through the Night. Like that was like seven, eighth grade. We started rapping like seven, eighth grade. We really started taking the C's like this year though. Like we started dropping, recording, and second, you feel me? Yeah. You got any projects that, that people can look up right now? Uh, yeah, I just dropped uh, Deep Thoughts like three days ago. 
That's definitely it's on YouTube, all platforms, Spotify, all platforms. everything. So we got a brand new joint, Deep Thoughts. Tell me something about the song, you know what I'm saying, before folks go look it up. Uh, it's like, it's basically giving you like, uh, life, you feel me? Like, it's telling you like, what we've been going through lately, you feel me? Like, it's straight, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't even wanna, you feel me, say too much, but it's like, it's really just giving you like, what we've been going through lately, you feel me? Has we coming up from what we was, you feel me? Just like the grind and what we've been doing and, how, how, how we been moving with it, that's all that it is, you feel me? Talking about our life in that song, Deep Thoughts, just giving us, you feel me? How we feeling in the inside, what's going on through our head, that's why I named it Deep Thoughts. That's what it is, Deep Thoughts. Now, what area are you from, bro? Oh, I'm from uh, 86 in Kingston, bro, so Eastside. Oh, you Eastside too, then? That's what's up, what's up? What about you, bro? Side to Eastside? Yeah. Give me your name again, DMC, Twan. Twan, how long you been rapping, bro? I don't rap, you know, these my little brothers, you know, they got oh, my full yeah, support and everything well, they do. The muscle? Tell yeah, me that's, the muscle. Muscle. that's <laughs> the muscle, that's the muscle, that's the muscle, that's the muscle on gang. Alright, so we got DMC1, DMC Twan, I thought the group was a little bigger though, what, what are the rest of the guys at? Yeah, man, we missing our brother, man, DMC Ray, man, Lil Ray. Yeah. DMC Bro. Ray, not, 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 not one rap. You know Twan the muscle. Yeah. <laughs> Your other man, so you rap, you get out? Yeah, yeah, my better rap. You definitely get out. You definitely get out. You got a song dropping on the 22nd. On you got a second. song dropping on the 22nd. What's Nightmare. the name of that song? Nightmares, Nightmares, over, Nightmares East. over East. Nightmares over East. I love this East side shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Nightmares over East. Yes, Say my man name again so they know since he ain't here. DMC Ray. DMC Ray. Yeah. It's going down, man. I'm too excited. Bro. Yeah, it's I'm a movie. Anything else y'all want to tell the people? Man, just be 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 tuned, man. Like we got new music on the way, new videos, new visuals to everything. We drop everything. All we know is push on oh, bro. The grind don't never stop. Alright, so you just met my man Trap Star Hey Dog, man. It took me everything in my body not to act act too much like a fan and fan out. The young boy is cold. The young boy music is real, it's authentic. It's, it's just more to come, man. Y'all keep your eye out on him. Remember I told you first, he the king of zombie drill. I'm calling it right now, the king of zombie drill, underscore trap star, underscore hey dog. Check out the whole squad. It's gonna be lit, man. It, it is what it is. I told y'all, I'm not a rapper, but I know so. Uh, bands, the nigga had you about them bands. Ha, uh, bands, try to he be playing with them grams. Ah, uh, ooh, damn. I need to run up the free bands.